kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Hey everybody out there, uh, YouTube land, Facebook as well. I uh, just wanted to, we're going to give this another shot here with the successful broker, success broker, I uh, Saeed, uh, he is a dominant real estate agent. And I will say this, uh, he is an awesome guy. Um, you know, so, uh, we're going to get to know him a little bit more. We're going to know how he got started where he's at and you know hey if we can do anything to help him we'll do it all right so uh, you know so we'll start off the the podcast i know this is a odd day uh, you know things happen and and we just gotta gotta go with the flow right now all right all right so let's bring on saeed how you doing saeed hey what's up brother how are you bro i'm doing all right so uh you know, first off, you know, we'll address uh, last Monday, you had a family emergency. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it was a breakdown, a little bit of communication. It's all good. I know how hard that is. I, you know, you know, we'll, we'll start fresh and kind of go from there. Thank so. you, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate for uh, you for getting me back on here. And again, I apology, uh, apologies mixed up on the calendar and everything, but uh, I'm glad to be here. Awesome. So trust me, I know how, how important family is right now. So, and if anybody hasn't been on our Facebook group, it's Metro Detroit off market real estate group. Uh, please go ahead and join. I, uh, you know, we're, we're streaming right now to the Facebook group as well as to my YouTube channel. All right. So, um, so with that being said, I, uh, so tell me a little, first tell me a little bit about you, um, and you know what you do. And then we'll start off with how you got started. Sure. Yeah. So uh, right now I'm a real estate broker uh, in Michigan uh, in the state mm -hmm. of Michigan and a real estate coach. It's been about three years. I've been coaching and training agents. Uh, started off starting my team back in end of about 2020, uh, beginning of 2021. Uh, mm -hmm. So right now I'm running a team, a real estate team here in Michigan, uh, completely remotely. Uh, I run my, this is my, this is my office. This is my office. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We I have about five, I think we are at six agents in my team and about 17 agents in my downline. Uh, another uh, 12 agents in my coaching program. So altogether, 30, 35 ish agents that I train and coach on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. On the weekdays, we do morning calls, we do prospect, okay. so we do the role play together. But we're we're serving, as far as real estate goes, we are serving uh, Wayne County, Macomb County, and Oakland County. Majority of our business is here. We do have agent in okay. Washington County and Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti area. Uh, we are, our brokerage is in all 50 states, so we also do transactions, other states uh, where we refer uh -huh. it to uh, agents in our network. So, yeah, okay. that's too. That's awesome. So with that being said, like, you know, obviously you know that I'm a wholesaler, okay? So we talk all about real estate, not just wholesaling here, all right? So tell me, how can you know what I, i'll save this for later so yeah. no no i'll save this for later because it, it's going to be a good 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 one later on so yeah. all right so tell me how you got started all uh, right okay so let's start uh, so i've been in this country about 17 years now maybe a little bit okay. over years um when i first came in i went straight into high school senior the senior year high school i went to pershing high school in detroit uh, graduated in like six or seven months and I went to Wayne State uh, Engineering School. I was in engineering school for two and a half year ish. 
and I read the book uh, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's actually on my shelf right here. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> Uh, I read the book and I was like, I'm doing it all wrong, right? Meaning the path yeah. that I'm taking, I was working full time uh, as a server in Birmingham uh, at a restaurant to be able to uh -huh. afford school, to be able to afford parking. If you know Wayne State area, it's, 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 I don't know how it is now, but back then this was 09. Uh, uh, yep. uh, and at this, during this time, uh, you know, market was obviously bad, like real estate market yep. was bad, but economy all itself was bad. And I started seeing, you know, uh, engineers who are laid off uh, as our teacher, as our professors, right? And they're like, they're kind of like, you know, being negative and as far as the engineering field when they're in school. Yeah. And I'm reading this book and my dad actually bought this book in a garage sale. And he, okay. was, he just brought it in, like all this stuff he bought in garage sale. And I'm like, what is that? Reach that, poor dad. And I never heard of this book, this book before. And I'm not a book guy. Well, I used to yeah. not be a book guy, but I'm like, okay, I'll read it. I read one chapter. I'm like, this is interesting. Like, you know, this talks about, you know, uh, all the four quadrants. And I'm like, okay, I need to read more. And I read, read, read. I'm like, okay, the path that I'm taking is pretty much what he talks about in the book that you yep. don't want to take, right? I'm like, okay, yeah. I need to figure something out. And I always want to do business. Um, I always wanted to do something that uh, allows me to create the financial freedom, right? Coming into yep. America, uh, I already had that culture shock because we grew up watching Disney, right? We okay. Disney movies. And so I had a complete different picture of America and coming into America, coming to Detroit, moving to Detroit, first thing, I had like a shock. Like I was like, this is not what I- So, so real quick, real quick, I got a question. You brought up Disney, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully Disney doesn't sue me for saying that, you know, whatever. But anyways, <laughs> but I got to, and you said you grew up watching Disney. Did you think high schools here in America were going to be like high school musical? <laughs> that, that's the picture I have in mind. Okay, that's the picture I have in mind. Definitely. Okay. Okay. You know, Disney cartoons even, like you know, with Disney movies, Disney cartoons. Yeah, it, it had a, we, uh, it's not that I was racist right i'm i'm no sorry, of course right but it was like the high school that i went Pershing high school right there was literally one white person one or two white person in the school right so that was a shock uh my english wasn't so good but still i i, I was educated in an english medium school so i knew how to speak but in a, a english accent right yeah. so not an american accent so uh but even American accent versus Detroit accent, right? Like you, yep. you get the picture, right? I couldn't understand anyone in the school oh, because yeah. they're talking the ghetto English, right? So uh, <laughs> that in itself was a shock for me. So I knew that I had to do something. I had to do something different to radically right. change. My dad, my parents were working in the factories in production when they came here to be able to afford the lifestyle, to be able to rent, to be able to do all that. So uh, 09 comes, I decide that, you know what, this, I'm not going to take this path because I'm working full time, but math doesn't make any sense to me, right? Like I'm working full time. I have the, the partial financial aid. Uh, it's still not really making sense. And if I'm yeah. done with school, there is no jobs because all big three companies uh, where I was my dream job, right? We're not doing so good. And eventually after I dropped out of school, they filed bankruptcy. So at that time I was like, yes, like this was the right decision. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I go, I go into, uh, I started an online business and this was when I was in school already after reading the book, I started like, okay, how, what can I do? What can, how, what can I do to make money? And at the time I'm making money online was a new thing, right? So I'm like, what is the fastest way? So I started this hustle where I would go on Craigslist every time a new phone would come out. So let's just say at that time, I believe it was like iPhone 3GS or 3G. Uh, okay. So every time a new phone would come out, I would go lowball all the previous version. So let's okay. someone say someone's trying to sell their phone for 300. I would say, I'll give you 200 in an hour. I'll come pick it up right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would go buy it and I would put it on eBay. Uh, eBay okay. was uh, remote, like pretty, pretty popular back then. Uh, and Amazon didn't even exist. So yeah. if, anyway, eventually like one year doing that, I, I built up some equity and built up some capital 
then we started doing was uh, going to outlet stores in the malls and go to every outlet store has a semi-annual sale. Um, mm -hmm. They would sell their products, uh, whether it's you know health and beauty products or clothing line for 85%, 75% off. And we would buy that stuff and we would hold it for about a month, two months, wait for people whoever bought it at that price. Uh, yep. Initially, we didn't have a lot of capital. We didn't, we couldn't afford to hold it. We would sell it right away on eBay. But anyway, long story short, I did that for four years. I built up enough capital uh, mm -hmm. to like start looking into real estate. Uh, and this was 2012, uh, around 2012, between 2012 and 2014, I flipped six houses. I bought, uh, uh, you know, foreclosure, back then foreclosure was everywhere. Every single property listed on the yeah. market was foreclosure. Uh, so first deal I did was I bought a house for $12,000. This was mm -hmm. in Detroit near Hamtramck. Uh, uh, next door to the house that we used to live in, uh, we moved to Warren from Detroit in 2011. So uh, we used to live in Detroit near Hamtramck. We used to own a house. So next door house was, uh, was being sold foreclosure. One of the neighbors let, told me like, hey, there's a house for sale. I know you're looking into real estate. Uh, look, th look at this, right? So I, I go, you know, the whole thing, bidding thing, and it was just, market was just trying, about to start, right, right 2012. <clears throat> uh, right. So I bought it for 12,500, I believe. And within like couple of, couple of hours of my closing, I sold it for 23,000. And I was like, I need to like pivot. I need to like take my equity out of like the business that I was in, the online business. At some point we had like close to uh, uh, five, six hundred thousand dollars in, in the inventory. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I, some, and at the time also was, what was getting difficult was we diversified into Amazon because Amazon was just coming up. This was yeah. 2012 and uh, Amazon, we do, were doing good on Amazon, better than eBay, but Amazon started shutting down small guys like us who were selling brand products more than the brand itself. So uh, Victoria's yeah. Secret, Bed Bath & Body, they didn't, they used to sell their stuff on their website and they didn't sell it on Amazon, right? Mm -hmm. But we were selling Victoria's Secret, Bed, Bed Bath & Body, Aeropostale, American Eagle, more right. than those brands itself but amazon was trying to grow so they wanted those companies to come to their site but yep. those companies can't come if we are already established with their brand right so amazon yeah. started, at some point we had like 100 accounts 100 accounts and okay funny story the way we built that empire <laughs> uh we would go to detroit and we would find crackheads and we would pay them $20 for their ID and social security and open an account. I don't know, it's like, it's legal, right? Oh my God. <laughs> We're doing this oh. with your consent. But uh, anyway, I kind of got out of that business to get into real estate investment. One Good time. decision. Good decision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it really changed my life and not just changed yep. my life, saved my life in a way. There are certain parts of it I'm gonna only release of my, of my story in my book that uh, I'm yep. going to publish uh, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, but uh, it, it saved my life. I would say not changed my life, saved my life. Real estate definitely did because yep. I was, with the business, I was going a complete different route because of the money that, you know, you get exposed to more money than you ever dreamed of. Uh, you start doing stuff and you start trying things out, right? So anyway, yeah, that's how I got into real estate. So. Uh, after doing like six deals, I started uh -huh. reading the closing statements. Uh, I started started learning how to read <laughs> the paperwork, right? Before that, right, I was like, right. here, sign here, sign here. So oh, I, started reading, I started seeing how much the real estate agent was making. And I'm like, I'm a smart guy, by the way. I dropped out of school, not because I was bad in school. I was 3.94 GPA. Like, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm really good at math. And yep. so I'm like, to me, it's like automatically like this is more profit if I could just get my license. Even though I didn't take into consideration all the work that's needed to be an agent and to market a property. I was just like, oh, three thousand dollars. That's my money. I'm paying you. Right. So I, I'm like, right. get my license. So got my license. First try. Got it. And uh, fast forward to 2015, I get married and it's like it's more responsibility now and I'm more grounded and I can't just make drastic decisions like I was doing before because I was single. 
Uh, so and then I had to go to real estate sales and all this. Uh, that's how really I got into real estate. And um, it's been so 2014 until now, it's about nine years into real estate mm-hmm. sales. And uh, real estate is a game changer. If anyone's out there, it's not happy with where you are in life, right? It's not you're happy with the income that you have, right? Try yeah. out real estate, but it's not it, real estate. Though to me, the way I look at it, is just a vehicle, right? It's just, yeah. a, it's just but a. Right. Car. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 